In addition to the notes for parents on the inside of the video box, there are three opportunities on this tape for adults to listen to advice on how to help children prepare for learning to read and write. But the most important thing of all is to have fun and enjoy the experience together like Rosie and Jim. A store. I mean, I so wanted a tail, Rosie. Yeah. Oh, yes, Duck. Jim, Duck said that we could write our own stories. Write our own stories? Yes. I've got a good idea for a story, Have Rosie. You? Yeah. It's, um, um, yes. uh, Oh, I forgot it. Oh, <laughs> Duck, we haven't got any ideas. going to give us some ideas for our duck tails. Oh, yes. See those special words, Special Jim? words. Um, um, raggedy baggedy. No. What, what Quick, Jim. Um, duck story's waiting. Oh, what are the words? Oh, oh I know. Nickety knackety. Nickety knock. Shh. Shh. Listen, Listen to duck. It was a boy, didn't we, Dreamy? Dreamy, could you get me some string from the cupboard? Dreamy? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Busy. I was having a very interesting conversation with Scowly. We all know that Scowly can't talk, and that you were just pretending. <coughs> Sorry, Dreamy. Sorry, Scowly. Only I am in a hurry, and I can't take my hand off the paper because it will unfold, and I need some string from the cupboard.
Is that Messi's birthday present? I'm glad you remembered. I'd forgotten all about it. The string. Get the string. Do you need anything else? No, I don't think so. That must be messy. <laughs> I'll let him in. The string. Messi! Hello, Dreamy. Hello, Messi. The string. I almost forgot. Oh, Dreamy, could you get some scissors from the cupboard? Scissors. Messy. That's funny. What? You can't hear the rain when the door's closed. Sounded the same to me. But perhaps I wasn't listening. Try it again. Well? Doesn't sound any different to me. No. The scissors. I almost forgot. Oh, it's messy. Quick, hide it. Don't let Messi see it.
Have you been out there all this time? I didn't mind. It was raining. But you're soaking wet, Messy. And look at the mess. Well, it is my birthday. Quite right. But you should wash and change. Before you get a cold. Messy. Thank you, Dreamy. Thank you, Busy. Thank you, Scowling. And this is your present. It's, um, it's a... A surprise. That's it. It's a surprise. Oh, thank you. I love surprises. I wonder what it could be. Thanks, Duck. Blub, 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 blub. Rosie. Blub, blub. <laughs> I've got an idea. For a blub blub scowly story. Scowly? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell the story, you write it down. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Now. <laughs> um, once upon a time. Once upon a time. Hang uh, on. Once upon a time. Um, um, Hang on. Um, once upon a time, that met a fish called Scowly. <laughs> that met a fish called Scowly. Um, blubberty boo, said Scowly. Blubberty boo. Huh? Quackity quack, quack quack, said Duck. Um, Quackity quack, quack quack, said Duck. Blub, 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 said Scowly. Slow down, Jim. Blub, 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 said Scowly. <laughs> um, ooh, quackety quack, quack, said Duck. Jim. What does this mean? It, well, it's nonsense. It's not nonsense, Rosie. It is. Oh, it, what does this mean? Blubberty boo. That means how do you do? Oh, See? and then Duck said, "Quackety quack, quack, quack." <laughs> that was saying very well, thank you. Yeah, but then Scowly said. Blub, 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 blubberty, a blub. Yeah, he was saying good day for taking a walk. See? Oh. <laughs> and then Duck said, um, quackety, quackety, quack. Yeah, it certainly is. See? Certainly is. Oh, <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. Jim, 
I think they were having a con con uh, con conversation, yeah, Rosie. Chat. Yeah, chat. 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 <laughs> Rosie, can we stick yeah? my drawing in now. Oh, okay. Yeah, stick it in that book. Glue, 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 yeah. glue. I like that. Rosie. Yeah. I I like that sound there. Qua, 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 quackity. <laughs> uh -huh. Quackity, quackity, quack, say duck. Yeah, <laughs> there's duck and there's scowly and there's some blub, 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 yeah. blub, blub, Rosie and Jim have just made up their own story about Scowley. Try this with your child. Make up a story about a favourite toy and then turn it into a book. Fold two pieces of paper to make your pages. Write a sentence of the story on each page and make box frames for your child to draw the picture to go with the sentences. Put your child's name on the cover as the author and then read the story aloud together. When you have more time, you can also make up a reading game using cards in the way Rosie and Jim are now going to do. Scowly is all comfy. Stay there. Scowling on the sofa. Scowly is scowling on the sofa. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> Look, Jim. <gasps> and this one says, Scowly is scowling in the fruit basket. Fruit basket. Fruit basket. Where's that? Uh, over there. Oh, Come shit. on. Fruit basket. Fruit basket. Uh, ah. Fruit basket. Oh, fruit basket. There. Scowling is scowling, scowling. in the fruit basket. Yeah. Rosie. Yeah. Here's the next clue. This one says. Scowly is scowling in a book of tales. Book, book of, of tales. tales? Um, I know. Ducky's book of tales, Rosie. Yes, come on. The book. Book, 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 Rosie. Jim, here's Scowly's tail. Rosie? Yes? Scowly's tail in Ducky's book of tales. Yes, tail. Tails? Tail. Tails. Tail. Tails. Scowly's tail. <laughs> tails of the ragdoll duck. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? You haven't got a tail. <laughs> no, I know, Noggin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. Duck, I know this game. If we do what it says on the card, then we can eat all this yummy fruit. It, Rosie, yeah? if, if I do what it says on this banana card, banana can card? I eat that yummy banana? Yes, but only if you get it all right. Oh, right. It says, say a rhyme in 
a very fast time. Um, that means say Humpty Dumpty very, very fast. Then I can eat the yummy nana. Yes, if you get it all right. <laughs> right. Um, Humpty Dumpty, hello, Humpty Dumpty, hello, all the giggles, 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 you can eat that banana now. Eat that banana. <laughs> Jim, stop it. Oh, yeah, yes, sorry. Honestly, <laughs> it's my turn to read my card now. Okay? Right. Stand on your head. Before you go to bed. Stand on your head before you go to bed. <laughs> Stand on my head. Yep. And, and then I can eat this yummy apple. Yep. Right, okay. Uh -huh. uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh, yeah. Rosie? Yeah? Now you can eat your yummy apple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that nice? Mm. Yummy apple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my turn now, Rosie. But, but, Jim, that means you would have had a banana and the orange. Yeah, but it's my turn, Rosie. I know, but... There's only one card left. I know, but I'm going to do this thing, and then if I do it, I can eat the yummy orange. <laughs> oh, all right then. Right. This one says, jump over the moon and fly as high as a balloon. <laughs> Go on then, doggy, jump over the moon. <laughs> Oh, that one's a bit difficult, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to eat the yummy orange. No. That you big doggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Jim, where have you gone, Jim? Oh, Duck's got a story coming on. Yeah, what are the magic words? Oh, Duck, um, um, I think. Uh, is it uh, Raggedy Baggity Duck? Oh, is it Raggedy Nuggety? <laughs> Oh. Uh, let's Quick, seven, Jim. Oh, uh, oh, I know what it is, Rosie. Nickety nackety, nickety nack. Shh, shh. Listen to Duck. There's nothing like a good pair of comfy shoes. Although they may be, but they're comfortable. You can move your toes around in these and... You can practically see them. Anyway, don't spend all your time looking at me shoes. Come on up here a little bit. That's right. Let's have a look at you. My name is Stan. Grandpa Stan. I expect you know your names, don't you? Hey, how am I going to get... Wait a minute. No, I'll just jump. That's it. Right. I think my farmyard friends got the right idea because I love wearing old clothes and old shoes, but they don't have to take them off or put them on because they've already got them. They sleep in what they wear out during the day. You take Willie the Worm now. Willie the Worm hasn't even got any clothes. He's got no shoes because he's got no legs. But he gets around. He gets around in all the mud. You can hear them. <laughs> hear them then? Makes funny noises. And when they meet... <laughs> Like that. Then there's a spider, Sid. Sid, well, Sid hasn't got a lot of problems. He's got eight feet. Hmm. Like that. He usually hangs around in trees, in webs and so on. Looks like a tarantula, but he's not. He's lovely as Sid. Then there's Porky Pig. He doesn't wear much. He just spends most of his time in the mud. Larry the Lamb's the only one I know that wears anything. Wears a woolly jumper. Then there's one, though, that wears shoes, come to think of it. Dobbin, the horse. My mate, Dobbo, over there. You know what that is? It means the shoes he has has little things on the bottom to make noises. <coughs> he does funny dances. 
I'm sure you what I mean now. And he does a sort of... And he goes... Oh, he does it much better than me. But he needs the shoes to make the noise on the floor. As true as I'm riding this bike. He's a tap-dancing horse, and he needs tap-dancing shoes. So, there was nothing for it. Down to the village we had to go. I took him down. I don't think he'd been to the village for ages, especially to this shoe shop. What was it called now? The shoe horn. <laughs> the shoe horn. Mm. I went inside with him. I don't think he'd been in there, like I said before, and there was no one in the shop, thank goodness. And Dobbin sat down. Not on one chair, not on two, not on three, not on four. But on six, six chairs he took. And his tail was swishing around, cleaning the floors, he did it. The woman didn't mind, saved her a job. Then I said, I'd like some shoes, please, for Dobbin. Dancing shoes. What size, she said. I said, well, I don't know. So we got out that big measure, and we measured his feet. And guess how big they were? Twenty-six. Size twenty-six. What size do you take? Two, three, I take size eight. But Dobbin took 26. Couldn't find a 26. Found everything else. Found yellow ones, black ones, green ones, brown ones, blue ones, red ones as well. Red shoes, but no 26s. In the end, we were just about to give up. Then we saw a big box in the corner. We opened it up, and inside, a pair of 26 white dancing shoes. We put them on Dobbin's feet. And you should have seen his face. He kept going like that and making that funny dancing noise. But then we realised, of course, he had two other feet at the back. So we thought we were going to be in trouble. But anyway, looking around, there's another box, a big one. We got it out, and inside, lo and behold, a black pair, 26s. So we had a white pair and a black pair. So we thought what we'd do, we'd put one white on the front and one black, and one black on the back and one white. So that means he had four lovely shoes on. The only problem was, being as we spent so much time sorting out these shoes, we'd missed the last bus home. So I said to Dobby, now we're going to get home now, Dobby, I'm tired, I can't walk all that way home. And you know what he said to me? <laughs> Which means, in horse language, I'll give you a ride home on my back. So I said, right, out we'll go, and I'll get on your back, and away we'll go home. That's what I did. I jumped up onto Dobbin's back, and I shouted, Hi-ho, Dobbin, away! <coughs> there we were going down the lane, <coughs> up over the field, back out to the lane. <coughs> then suddenly he put the brakes on. <coughs> you know why? He realized he had his dancing shoes on. So he started to dance. All that noise coming from his dancing shoes and me on the top, aching from head to foot. I was numb all over. Me, poor old granddad Stan. Numb all over. Even my bum was numb. Anyway, it's been very nice being with you today. I want to go and do a bit of work now because I've got a lot of jobs to do. Farmer John said, I'm a good worker. He said, the only one thing wrong with you, he said, Grandpa Stan, is that you tell too many tall tales. <laughs> tall tales, me. You don't think I tell tall tales, do you? I mean, you don't think I told a tall tale about Dobbin's shoes. Look, these are his old ones. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye. I like that man, Grandpa Stan. Yeah, and I like all those funny noises. Yeah, noises. <laughs> Gave us some ideas for a story. Yeah, <laughs> you tell a funny noise story, Rosie, and oh. I'll write it down. Oh, um, all right then. <laughs> right, you ready? Right. Right. Rosie and Jim and Duck went for a walk. Rosie? 
and G E M. Who went for a walk? Rosie, Jim, and Doc. <laughs> Win for a walk. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, it's a lovely sort of day, said Rosie. Uh, uh, ah. <laughs> it's a lovely sort. Of day, said Rosie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a cold sort of day, said Jim. <laughs> What, what happened next after the brrrr? Quack! No, it says brrrr. Look, Jim, you're going to have to keep up, all right? Mm hmm What happened after brrrr? Um, brrrr. It's a cold sort of a day, said Jim. It's a cold. Sort of day, said Jib. Quack, <laughs> said Duck. <laughs> Quack. Mm -hmm. It's an ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of a day then, <laughs> laughed Rosie. Jim, I like ah uh, best. I like brrrr. Yeah, <laughs> and Jim, when, when Duck goes quack. Like, yeah, quack, like, quack. Like, quack, quack, Rosie, quack. I'm going to read it to you now. Read okay. your story. All right. Right. Um, Rosie and Jim and Duck went for a walk. Ah, it's a lovely sort of day, said Rosie. Brrrr. It's a cold sort of day, said Jim. Quack, said Duck. It's an ah. Brrrr. Sort of day then, laughed Rosie. <laughs> Young children enjoy tall tales, the kind that Grandpa Stan told and Rosie and Jim have just written down. You might like to make up a tall tale. Start with a sheep called Willie, who has lost his woolly jumper and sets out to find it again. It would be good if your child could then retell the story to another member of the family. Jim! Hmm? Duck just said, turn over the next page. Turn over the page? Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Jim! I know what that is. What? It's Hickory Dickory Dock. Rosie, hmm? what's a Dickory Dock? Oh, Jim, don't you even know that? Well, you know what a doodle is? Um, yes. Yeah, and you know what a huge and the flip is? Um, yeah, of course I do. Well, well, um, well, well, that's what a dickery duck is, all right? Now, sh uh, let me get on. Oh, <laughs> right, thank you. Yeah, see.
One. Two. Three. Nice. And a clock. Do that. Rosie, please! You you just read it and I'll do the mouse. Go run, 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 run. Yeah, but I'd like to do the mouse. Mm. No, I, I want to do the mouse. You read it. All right. Go on then. Right. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, hickory, banana, duck. Uh, Rosie ran around the kitchen. Rosie, please do it properly. You're not reading it from the book. I am. That's what it says. It doesn't, Rosie. Look, read it there. It says, hickory, dickory, duck. See? Hickory, dickory, duck. You better read <laughs> it from the book or I'll just go and play with someone else. Right? Yeah. Now, ready, steady, go. Hickory, dickory, duck. Mm -hmm. The mouse ran up <laughs> the duck. Duck. <laughs> Rosie. Yeah? This is not a duck. This is a clock. Look, read it on the book. See? Clock. Uh, clock. Right? Now do it properly or I won't play. Good. Go on then. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The mouse ran down dickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> 
there, did it, and I'm going now. Rosie! You missed out the bit about the clock going, buying the clock struck one bit. See, look at the book. It says, the clock struck one. See? Do you see it? OK, hang on. Right. Uh, right. What's that? It's, it, um, I need this. Oh, all right. Okay, right. Ready? Yeah. Hickory dickory dock. Mm -hmm. The mouse ran up the <laughs> clock. <laughs> the clock struck. One. <laughs> the mouse ran down. Oh, watch, 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 the clock's falling down. The mouse is too heavy. <laughs> the mouse ran down. Yeah. Hickory dickory, dickory duck. duck. <laughs> Let's do it together. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hickory dickory, dickory duck. Tick The mouse ran up, up the, the clock. <laughs> the the mouse. Oh, the clock. Oh, yeah. The the clock. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the clock, clock struck one. one. Boo! <laughs> the, the mouse ran down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's do it again. Hickory dickory duck. The mouse ran down. The clock struck one. Boo! The mouse ran down. The clock struck one. Boo! The mouse ran down. The clock struck one. And the fiddle. Meow. The cow jumped. Jumped, jumped, jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun.
Yeah, I like that one. It says, hey... Jim! What? I want to read this one. No, Rosie, it's my turn to read Yeah, now. but you didn't want to read the last one. I want to read this one. Go on, then. Hey, diddle, diddle. Get on with <laughs> Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed, riff, riff, to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Jim, what? I'm going to stick my picture in here. What's that picture of, Rosie? Well, it's a lovely picture that I did yesterday. What's it of? Oh, look! Oh, hang on, it's a bit sticky. Hang on. <gasps> Rosie, that's the same picture as this, as this, as this song. Yeah. Hang hey, on. diddle, diddle. The cat and I like spoon, Rosie. Now, let's see that word there. It goes sp mm. sp spoon. <laughs> Rosie. Yeah. That's a hey diddle diddle picture. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed. <laughs> See such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Can I do it now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the duck and the fiddle. Rosie jumped over the moon. Little Jim laughed to see <laughs> such fun, and they both ran away with a spoon. <laughs> Rosie? <laughs> yeah? That wasn't quite right, was it? I know, but I liked it. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> the duck and the fiddle. And Jim in there. Not laughing. <laughs> Children who are familiar with nursery rhymes often turn out to be good readers. They are finding out about the sounds and rhythms of language. See how many nursery rhymes you and your child can remember together. Have fun with a pretend concert. Today we're having a concert, and together we're going to sing three nursery rhymes. Their titles are Twinkle Twinkle, Humpty Dumpty, and Three Blind Mice. Then see if you can turn a nursery rhyme into a story, starting, One day, Teddy went out for a walk. She saw the king's horses and the king's men riding down the street. Hear them quack as um, they go by um, lots of lovely ducks. There, Rosie. Yeah? I've written a lovely duck song for our lovely duck. Yeah, and I've drawn a lovely picture of ducks, which I can stick in. Yeah, stick next to my song. There, I'll sing it, Rosie. Um, how's it go? Oh, yeah. On the water floating by Lots of lovely ducks Hear them quack as they go by Lots 
of lovely ducks. <laughs> Rosie? Yeah? What do we do now? Uh, well, we have to write the end. Why? Well, because it's the end, Noggin. Oh, yeah, <laughs> write the end. Thank you. Rosie? Uh, yeah? Write the end by Rosie and Jim. OK. The end by Rosie and Jim and Duck. <laughs> All finished. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> on the water floating by, lots of lovely ducks. Lots of lovely dogs.